Hey, Good Shepherd, John Jar here, and welcome to this Music Minute, and today I brought friends. Um, we are just about getting ready to start handbell choir rehearsal. Everybody wave. Everybody wave. <laughs> and this is our group. This is the Celebration Ringers of Good Shepherd Lutheran Church, and we are just about ready to start bell choir rehearsal, and I got the thought that maybe there are some of the people who watch these videos that have never rung a handbell or seen a handbell or seen how they all work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the camera around and we're going to just kind of hear um, how, how a bell is played. So Angie, would you take one of your bells and just demonstrate how it's rung? Fantastic. So we are um, the proud um, and happy owners of five octaves of Malmark handbells. Uh, Malmark is one of the manufacturers, one of the American manufacturers of handbells. And by saying we have five octaves, that means that we go from this low C hear that? That's a sound that carries to this very high C. I hope you can hear that. Um, there are many uh, bell techniques that uh, get employed. Whenever you hear a mart, Janelle, would you demonstrate a mart? See how Janelle just kind of hit the bell into the table? Um, what are some of the other techniques that people should hear? Oh, you do that one more time, Karen. You can play it with a mallet like that suspended or put it, put the bell down on the table and do a mallet on the table. There you go. Um, and then you'll notice that some of our high bell ringers have, I don't know, Byron, how many bells do you have there? Well, 85? Currently eight in front of me. Okay. So, so how in the world do you play eight bells, Byron? At, at various times. Most of the time you'll only have two bells in your hand. But every once in a while we employ a technique called Shelly ringing, which there's two ways of doing it. Normally you start with two bells. Uh, if you're playing octaves, which is this, this bell and this bell are the same note, but one octave separated, and the same in this hand. So we ring them so that both will ring at the same time versus a single bell. Or you can also switch it out and play four different bells at the same time. You can also play chords by yourself. And it, uh, generally employ that when there's moving runs that are a little more complicated, or if you don't quite have enough ringers to play all five octaves, but you still <laughs> want to play them all. So we just kind of throw those in as needed. Exactly. So uh, one of the cool things is that we have space in this group. We could actually use a couple more ringers um, so we can really fully enjoy um, all of the bells that we have. If anybody is interested in being a part of the group, please let any of us know or give me a call or, um, or comment under the video and we'd love to talk to you. Um, and if you'd like to hear the whole group uh, ringing together, um, we are making our debut this Sunday in services. Uh, don't come late. You're going to want to hear the bell prelude. Uh, that's it for today, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great day. Say bye. 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 Come and play with us.